Airbnb. That's the best too. Um, this video is for the Wiseman of the Williams Institute for Shaping Excellence. Uh, we're gonna do a little experiment today. I got some Williams menthol shaving soap in the mail. Um, now I've had I have three other pucks of this in my den right now, and I've had two others that I traded, um, and none of them have ever had any uh, menthol scent left to them. Um, as far as I know, Williams made menthol soap from sometime in the probably mid to late 80s up until the early 2000s. Um, now this one, uh, based on the uh, UPC, is from the 2000 to 2002 era. Uh, I believe that was the GlaxoSmithKline era. Um, so this is more recent than any of the other uh, menthol pucks that I've had, uh, which might explain... Uh, the interesting part to this puck in that it still has some menthol scent to it. Uh, when I got it in the mail, uh, as soon as I opened up the box, uh, I smelled uh, what smelled to me at the time like uh, Altoids had been in the box with it. Uh, and then I realized that the scent was actually coming from this box and uh, I could actually smell it through the box. And uh, the, the, the puck smells just like uh, uh, kind of a weaker uh, Altoids Mint. Um, you can see the uh, the puck says uh, Williams Mug Shaving Soap on the front and the JB Williams Company on the back. Um, now to get this puck uh, prepared since I just took it out of the box for the first time uh, we're just gonna run it under some water um, kinda wash off that little outer layer um, basically I'm just gonna use it and wash my hands with it and get that initial layer off of there in case there's any mold or whatever on the outside of it. Just get that off so we can use it. It still has that scent. Kind of has a, uh, since it's got the uh, soapy scent in with the menthol, it almost smells like, uh, if you remember those, uh, minty tasting wax teeth or wax lips from your childhood. That's almost exactly what this smells like right now. So I've had my uh, uh, Century uh, vintage handle brush with a uh, TGN knot in it. I've had that soaking for a while so we'll get, go ahead and get this uh, lathered up and see how it works. Now with most vintage pucks this is uh, tallow first uh, and so you can see it's it's lathering up pretty good uh, already. I don't have to uh, do very much loading to get a good lather with this. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to uh, a few of the wise men who uh, responded to my post about this puck. Nick O, Captain Caveman, and Roderick, and especially uh, CPA Camper for uh, suggesting that I do this video. So thanks guys, and I uh, hope you like the video. Alright, so probably got plenty and more than enough uh, loaded up for this. So I like to uh, to face lather, so everything that was on my hand that was building up, I'm just going to smear that on my face. And I can tell you right now, I do feel some cooling on my face from this soap. And I've used a few vintage pucks before, never used a menthol puck. Um, so I can tell you that it, it is absolutely a different feel than just uh, the vintage soap as it is. So there is definitely something different to this puck. Uh, it's definitely got some cooling menthol going on, which is really nice. You can see with the 
vintage Williams, we get some really nice lather. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more soap or water to this. And we're going to grab my uh, Edwin Jagger uh, barley handle. What is this? The DE89L, I believe. As always with William soap, it's a really uh, slick soap. And this vintage soap is nice and cushiony. I still got a little bit of that uh, menthol tingling on my face. Uh, now that I wave some air over it, that's kind of rea reactivating and evaporating some of the menthol and making it even more cooler. So uh, usually when I use a menthol soap, the second application is actually a bit stronger because you kind of wash off some of the oils and whatnot off of your face and the menthol kind of goes directly on your face. So we'll see how this goes. Some more water. Still a little bit of cooling on there. Definitely feeling it more on this side now that it's gone than that I'm feeling over on this side. I uh, guess my skin's open and more of the menthol is kind of evaporating, which is giving that cooling sensation. <clears throat> nice close shave, a little bit of touch up. My chin line always has needs a little bit more touch up because the uh, the grain goes a different way right here.
So the uh, Willem Soap uh, menthol variety was actually a pleasant surprise. I uh, wasn't expecting, I knew I was getting a menthol puck, but obviously wasn't expecting any scent to come through or any of the menthol to still be in it because they usually aren't. But uh, I guess being that this puck is only uh, in the 13 to 15 years old, uh, was actually able to uh, retain some of the menthol and was a uh, I guess properly stored, maybe uh, it was stashed away in someone's closet or something and wasn't exposed to any heat to uh, increase the evaporation rate of the uh, menthol. So uh, for whoever kept this, thank you. I'm glad that uh, it was able to maintain its condition. And uh, well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I wish all of you could, uh, could try this soap. Uh, it's really a, a unique experience. Uh, being that it's something that we don't usually see all the time, there's a few. There's only a few menthol pucks out there because uh, they didn't make as many as they made of the normal pucks. And uh, obviously, being vintage, it's in short supply as it is. So, uh, uh, really interesting to be able to use a puck like this that ha actually has some menthol properties and, and scent to it. Uh, still getting some of the cooling feeling on my face. Uh, not not as strong as you might expect or might be used to if you're used to using menthol soaps a lot. Um, but for being a vintage product, uh, you take what you can get, and uh, this is kind of what's left in it. So it's a it's a really nice, uh, really nice surprise that I uh, uh, was able to obtain this puck. And uh, thanks. See you later.